Okay guys, now we're basically ready to start the construction shift. In order to do these pages, this is pages 16 and 17 in the advanced review, you are going to need to be familiar with page 7, the sentence structure chart. Okay? So if you need to, make sure you have that next to you while we do this. Okay. All right, now, basically, when you're working with a construction shift, it's going to give you a good sentence. Then it's going to ask you to rewrite it in a different format. The basic idea of construction shift is don't change the meaning, okay? We want to find the words that mean about the same thing to convey the same meaning, okay? We may need to tweak it to make it more clear, okay? So basically, I always say, Find the old pattern first for the old sentence. Then let's predict the new pattern because that will tell us how we need to punctuate it. Do we need a comma? Do we need a coordinating conjunction? Okay, let's go ahead and let's see how we do this. Okay, so look at the example that they give you there. The hikers were at the bottom of the canyon and they discovered an abandoned mine shaft. Okay, two things stick out to me in that sentence. First of all, the comma and the and. So therefore, I can guess that the pattern for that sentence is I comma CCI. That's the old pattern of the sentence. Now, look how they tell you to rewrite it. Rewrite the sentence beginning with after the hikers were. Okay, do you see how it begins? with that dependent marker word, that means that you are now working with a dependent clause. After the hikers were at the bottom of the canyon, all of those words together will be a new dependent clause. Okay, so on your chart on page seven, which sentence pattern are they changing it to? Okay, do you see it? The only sentence pattern that begins with the D is the D comma I sentence pattern, okay? I want you to notice, you'll keep the comma, but you will be deleting the and, okay? All right, now, so the new sentence will be, after the hikers were at the bottom of the canyon, comma, they discovered an abandoned mine shaft, okay? All right, now, um, I am assuming that you have finished this page right here, Let's go over questions one through three, okay? First off, let's look at the uh, original pattern for number one. Good money managers control their present expenses and they invest surplus dollars to meet their future needs. Okay, so number one is almost exactly like the example one. It's going to be I comma CC I. Okay, that's our pattern. Then it says rewrite using the word because. I know your English teachers never told you to begin a sentence with because. However, this is uh, an exception to that case. We will begin the sentence with because. Okay? Is because a dependent marker word? Yeah, yeah it is. Okay. So since it begins with that, the pattern will be D comma I. All right, what does this mean? You'll make sure that you have that comma there and you'll make sure that you delete the and when you rewrite the sentence. Because good money managers control their present expenses, they invest surplus dollars to meet their future needs. Just make sure that you have a comma after expenses, okay? All right, now let's look at number two. We ordered lobster since it was our anniversary. Okay, so let's find out the original pattern. We ordered lobster. Could that be its own sentence? Mm? Yeah, it can be. So that means that it's an independent clause. Since it was our anniversary. You see that word since? What kind of word is that? Yeah, yeah, it's a dependent word. So my last clause is a dependent clause. So this is the pattern. ID. Okay, now it tells you to rewrite this sentence beginning with since it was. 
So we're going to be changing it and basically just switching the order. Just remember, even though this pattern did not have a comma, the new pattern will because the new pattern is D comma I. Since it was her anniversary, comma, we ordered lobster. Okay? All right. Now we're coming up on my favorite question. Okay, let's look at number three. Let's find the original pattern. Tornadoes are winds which rotate in a counterclockwise direction, and they look like a funnel at the bottom of the cloud, as anyone who is familiar with Oklahoma weather knows. All right, so that's quite a mouthful. Here's the thing. There's one word in the middle of the sentence that stands out to me above all others. Did you see it? It's really small. It's only two letters. The word as. Okay, so do you see how that dependent marker word is stuck right smack dab in the middle of the sentence? Guess what, guys? That means that there is a dependent clause there on the end. If there's a dependent clause on the end, let me check on the front side of it and see if there's an independent clause at the beginning. Tornadoes are winds which rotate in a counterclockwise direction and look like a funnel at the bottom of the cloud. Yeah, that, that can be its own sentence. Okay? So, the pattern is ID. And yes, this one happens to have a comma there. Okay? Now, we need to predict the new pattern. Okay? And it starts with anyone who is. All right, so this pattern is going to be different than the D comma I pattern, okay? Do you see it? Do you see the short beginning? Yep. Anyone is a short beginning. And then the key word, who, okay? Yep, that's it. We're dealing with the S, D, C, V pattern. Okay, anyone is going to be the subject who is familiar with Oklahoma weather is now going to be our dependent clause. What does that make uh, the verb? Oh yeah, knows. All right, now, most of you guys are going to be tempted to put a comma here or a comma here. Both places are wrong. Okay, first of all, you don't put a comma after the verb, okay, because that's going to separate it from the rest of the sentence. Anyone who is familiar with Oklahoma weather knows tornadoes are winds which rotate in a counterclockwise direction and look like a funnel at the bottom of a cloud. That's fine just the way it is. Since there is no comma in front of who, there is no comma here, okay? Now, some of you guys are feeling like, oh, but it means something after knows. Okay, you're right. You can put the word that, and that will make it a little bit better. Anyone who's familiar with Oklahoma weather knows that tornadoes, blah, 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 blah. Okay? That's basically a good way to fix it as well. Okay? So on number three, when you rewrite the sentence, there should be no commas at all. How'd you do? Did you get all three right? Good for you.